Welcome once again to another episode of XWA Live. 3X with the call. We are here for a grudge match of sorts that spawns directly from the results of XWA Soul Survivor. Making his way to the ring, Captain Canada himself, Drake Manning, who demanded this one-on-one -on -one match as a direct result of what transpired in the Tag Team Championship match at Soul Survivor that you see here. Tane Tua delivering the Muscle Buster and then using the ropes for added leverage on the pinfall. The referee never even getting a look at what happened. And of course, Katana retaining the tag titles. That didn't sit too well with Drake Manning all these past few days since that event. And he demanded this one-on-one -on -one match to the president and CEO, Carmella Blackheart. And he's about to get it. Manning looking really, really fired up right now. And the proverbial sea of booze as his opponent marches his way down to the ring. The Samoan bad boy, Tane Tua. One half of the still reigning tag champions along with big Duke Morrow. And Tua doesn't look the least bit concerned about being put in this match. Basically a grudge match. No title on the line, no title implications. If anything, this is just about Drake Manning wanting to prove to Tua, maybe even prove it to himself, that he truly is the better man when it comes down to in-ring skill and what it is that you can do on your own. Obviously, Aki-san, Manning's tag partner, not here at ringside, and neither is Duke Morrow. We are under the promise that this is going to be a clean one-on-one -on -one match. Both men here to prove a point. And both men seem ready for this match to begin and the referee calls for the bell. Collar and elbow tie up to start things off on the side headlock by Tua. Immediately into a headlock takeover. Side headlock on the ground there and a shot right to the forehead. A little bit of a standoff, so to speak. And they lock up again, center of the ring. Manning with the side arm lock here, applying pressure to what's going to have to get himself out of this hold here. And he does. Top wrist lock now. And immediately Manning showing off the chain wrestling. Countering it to a side headlock and now a top wrist lock of his own. And a judo style trip by Drake Manning. Obviously taking some lessons from his partner Aki-san there. Northern Lights suplex, no bridge. And a stomp to the uh, solar plexus by Manning. Irish whip counter into the corner by Tua and a running elbow, spinning elbow right to the face. And once again, showing off those wrestling chops is Tane Tua. And here's Tua getting Manning back up to his feet. Low kick right there, misses on the elbow. Oh, but he scores on the high head kick. That was straight out of the octagon. Counter there by Manning and Tua again regaining momentum. Irish whipping Manning hard into that turnbuckle area, but Manning with the counter, chin breaker, and then the back breaker to follow up. And now a little mat wrestling by Manning, matching Tua hold for hold here. Don't confuse Tane Tua. He might be a burly brawler, but he can definitely get it done in the ring. He is extremely 
technically sound as he answers an earlier Northern Lights suplex by Manning with one of his own. Keeping his opponent down on the mat and now him. There goes one of those side elbows again. And Manning eats the elbow, absorbs the punishment, and steps in with a brain buster. Manning with the right hand. And Tua absorbing that shot to fire back with an STO. And goes right back down to the mat with the leg lock there. Breaks the hold, however. Must not have gotten enough of it, but Drake Manning is going to get all of that. Pile driver. Pure impact. The top of Tua's head bouncing on the canvas. And now Manning delivers the code red and a cover. Only gets a one count, though. Wow. Something about that uh, Samoan fortitude right there. He can absorb a tremendous amount of punishment. Kentane Tua. But can he absorb this punishment there? Whips on the grapple. And Manning capitalizes with the Canadian neckbreaker. And another cover. And this time only gets a two count. And you can see the look on Manning's face. The frustration. How, how in the world did Tane Tua kick out? Wait, wait a second, and Tua now absorbs another shot and delivers the Northern Lights driver out of nowhere. Instant offense by Tua, could this be the match? No, only a two count there, but that, I really didn't know where that Northern Lights driver came from. Manic trying to get something going in the corner there, but countered by Tua. And now Tua with another counter after a counter by Manic. Back and forth has this match gone since the opening bell. But it looks maybe like Tua might get something big here. No. Immediately countered into the corner is Tua by Manning. And now. Drake Manning with his opponent on the top turnbuckle. And this is not going to bode well for the tag team champion. Superplex coming up. No. Oh my God. Are you kidding me? A top rope falcon arrow and a cover. Two. Only gets a count of two. Yet again. Another hard high impact maneuver. That Tane Tua somehow miraculously gets the kick out off of. But now we see Drake Manning kind of slowing the pace down a bit here. Trying to build some momentum for another big time move. Wow. Did you hear the impact on that kick right to the jaw? Drake Manning right now is on fire. And delivers that discus clothesline. We saw him use it. Soul Survivor. Folding Tua up. And another cover. Two and a half. Two and a half again. Tua gets the shoulder up. And now Tane Tua out of nowhere. Seemingly picking up a second win. Turns Manning around and turns him inside out with that back suplex. And now a close line. Stiff Larry, the second one, and missed by Manning on that close line and countered into a power slam. Hard and tight. And speaking of hard and tight, how about another second Northern Lights driver by Tua? Tua's gonna go for the cover here. Shoulders down, two, no. Drake Manning getting the shoulder up now and two is showing some frustration. Neither man able to get his opponent onto the mat for the three count, and uh oh. Manning's in that corner here. He could be setting up for that muscle buster and wait, wait a second. That's, that's Apollo Vega who just came out 
from the crowd over the barricade to the ringside area. And meanwhile, inside of the ring, Manny gets Gorilla pressed off the turnbuckle, opting not to go for the uh, muscle buster. Is 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 Tua? And and I really don't have any idea what's going on right now, but this looks like it might spell bad news for Drake Manning. Apollo Vega, of course, a member of World's Finest, who much like Katana is also under the leadership of Victory Musashi. We might see a two-on-one assault here in the very near future. Samoan driver coming up and down on the top of his head. Goes Manning and in comes Vega. Uh, wait, wait a sec, what the hell? Apollo Vega's just hoisted Tane Tua up for the for the Mexican stretch buster. What the hell? What the hell is going on here? Apollo Vega just just helped Drake Manning? What I ladies and gentlemen, your guess is as good as mine as to what it is that just transpired in the center of that ring. But all I know right now is Vega just helped Manning. Manning just hit Tua with the Canadian neck breaker. And scores the pinfall victory. This was a back and forth war throughout. Neither man able to score the pinfall early on even after big moves. Here we see one of two Northern Lights drivers by Tua absorbing tremendous punishment. And here we see an amazing Falcon Arrow off the top rope that also didn't score a pinfall. This right here, folks, to call this a turning point would be an understatement. Not even in the match, but possibly in the very career of Apollo Vega. I think we just saw Apollo Vega ultimately defect from world's finest with that move right there, the Mexican stretch buster. We thought for sure he was going to interfere for Tua, but he didn't. He attacked Tua. He gave Drake Manning the opening he needed to score the Canadian neckbreaker and the pinfall victory. And, and look at this. A little camaraderie by Manning and Apollo Vega, but what is this going to mean for Vega and World's Finest and Victory Musashi? So many questions right now.